Hey guys, welcome back. DreamReaver23 here with another Let's Play episode of Minecraft. And I am joined, as usual, by Steve. And uh, I wouldn't quite say per usual, really. Yeah, that's not really the usual. I am joined day. haphazardly and not really often by oh, Steve. And now I can't hear you. What? You can't hear me. That's cool. Why can't you hear me? Steve! Steve, come back to me! Come back to me, Steve! Steve, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Steve? I push you! I push you again! <laughs> oh, are you there? Ass. Can you hear me? <laughs> can hear you now. Can, can you, you hear, hear me? me now? All right, All let's right. do this. Uh, so Steve and I had a... Great idea. We were actually looking at, um, we wanted to build some nuclear reactors for the Let's Play house, or a nuclear reactor, not some, because we like to try to go through and get away with just one. But there is shit for resources out there on nuclear reactors. Isn't that right, Steve? You cut out again. Ha <laughs> uh, Terrible. Why am I cutting out for you? That's weird. It's, is it, I can tell you on your you, side. No, nah, I'm pretty sure it's mumble. Could be. Could be mumble. Uh, so what uh, Steve and I did, actually we were pointed, pointed to a great resource by Neoboy11 here on the server, and he said, hey guys, why don't you try working on with this? And we said, all right, cool. So what we wanted to do for you guys is to show you a couple of our different builds. There's always people on the server that say, hey Dream, hey Steve, hey Neo, hey whoever, how can I make my nuclear reactor? How can, how can I make it to where it's you know good, efficient, it's not going to blow up all the damn time? Which I think is a pretty good question that should be asked. You know, you don't want to blow up your house. Just an opinion on there. I do. Well, you do, but you live in my house on here. Well, I guess our house. So you don't, you want to blow up our house, which is just mean. Punch you in the face. Punch you in the face. It's odd. I can hear your clicking just fine. It's your voice that's cutting in and out. Really? Punch you in the face. All right. Heard that. So, <laughs> damn it. So Steve and I went through and uh, we built a little test area up here just in case we do have an explosion. Uh, it doesn't decimate our Let's Play house or that secret little building right over there. That, 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 that's a secret. Shh, it's a secret building. Secret. Steve! Steve, he's gone. Oh, <laughs> Steve left the game. Is that because you lost the game? <laughs> no, you, you should. I, I know this sounds uh, terrible to say in the middle of a an episode, but you should try restarting your mumble really quick. Yeah, well, it's not gonna affect anybody on here. So la di da, la di freaking da. See, you guys can still hear me. Steve, Steve can't hear Jack, and so I'm gonna be like, oh, talking crap, talking crap, Steve. Yeah, yeah, Steve. I actually I can't really talk a whole lot of crap, but let's see, let's see. Hello, can you hear me now? I can hear you. So far. So far, he says. Climbing a ladder, climbing a ladder. So Steve and I have built this, and Steve is not up here yet. Steve, come on. Come, Steve. Steven. Come here, Steven. Thank you, Steven. Welcome to my laboratory. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so this is a nice little testing center with lots of doors that open up when you walk past them. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, so we're high up above everything else, and uh, we decided to go through and show you these. So we have our uh, MFSUs, just so we can kind of show an output point on there. Uh, Steve, did you fix that one over there, Steve? Thank you, Steve. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'll what we care. have here is we have built a couple, and we wanted to build more, but Steve has a bedtime. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. No, my school gave me one. Pretty much. His school is uh, pissing both of us off because it used to be Steven and I would play on here for hours and hours and we'd have so much fun. Back in the days of yore. But no, his school decided to put a uh, firewall in the system that knocks everybody off and just kills their internet connection precisely at midnight like he was Cinderella. Oh, dear. I really don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, <laughs> Nuclear reactors. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. 
So uh, Steve All and I, we're, we're, we're needing more time frames to go through and build these, but we're actually going to build more out because what we want to eventually do is try to build a Mark III or Mark IV that can run full cycle and output, I'd like to see at least a 64 million uh, EU output on a full cycle without blowing up. Would that not be amazing, folks? That would be amazing. So, but we did build a few uh, simpler ones. And uh, so we're going to show you off on those. Now, this one in here is a Mark One. It's actually a Mark One One. Uh, there's different ratings, but this is a Mark One One. Uh, this is a full cycle nuclear reactor. This is just the nuclear re reactor itself, and no additional chambers on here. So this is going to signify basically you guys starting off on a server or on your own at, with your first nuclear reactor experience. And uh, we're going to show you how to do these, but I wanted to give you the stats first. That's why I was out here still. So this puts out a total in a total cycle of two hours and forty six minutes is a is a full cycle uh, for the uranium to, uranium to be depleted, um, and that's pretty much standard across the board from what I was seeing. Two hours and forty six minutes is pretty much the full de depletion of the uranium. Uh, no cooldown time required on this, and it's four million EU's per tick, or not per tick, four million EU's as total output. Um, and so you'll see that right in here. Looking at it, you can see that it's only got two uranium cells, and it's surrounded on each side by coolant cells. Now, Yay. as a brief explanation, coolant. the coolant cells, if I were to go through, let me actually, I know this, I, we're in creative mode. This is specifically creative mode because this is all about you guys. 30207? <laughs> no, wrong one, damn it. Six. <laughs> <laughs> 30206. I thought I had it down pretty good. We're being creative because it's all about you guys, I swear. Uh, if you were to go through and put a coolant cell right here, this is actually a kind of a rookie mistake. I did this quite a few times as well. If you put coolant cells right here, this uranium cell only expends heat into coolant cells or into uh, integrated heat dispensers, dispersers that are only directly above it, below it, to the left, or to the right of it. Anything at an angle... It's not going to cool down there. It's not going to send heat that way, so it's not going to dissipate that way. Thus so, useless. Pretty much. So that would not get used at all. So people will use these coolant cells and put them in there, and they won't do anything. And they're like, well, why isn't it cooling down? Why are the other ones getting taken down so much? It's only because it can do up, down, left, right from the uranium cell itself. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that later on with using integrated uh, heat dispersers and how they actually work. So, But right now we wanted to show this off. So this one has two uranium cells in here. So that means it's going to output 20 EUs per tick. Doesn't sound like a lot, but if you think about that, that's 20 solar panels. This thing is, this thing is putting out just as much energy as 20 solar panels right now. Oh, well, when we turn it on, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, because a solar panel puts out one EU per tick. And this is going for you guys that are not running advanced machines that has the high-voltage solar arrays. High-voltage solar arrays are freaking phenomenal. Don't get me wrong. We just can't have it on the server. So, yep, yep. So this is, uh, uh, what, eight total coolant cells, two uranium cells, and it's going to put out 20 EUs per tick for a total of 4 million EUs in its complete cycle of 2 hours, 46 minutes, and like 47 seconds or 37 seconds. And it means in the great point that you will not have any explosion with this. It's completely safe. We will go ahead and this right now is 0 MFSU. All right. Steve, would you like to do the honors of flipping the switch? Yes. And it turns on like a beauty. Did you just turn it off? No. Oh, I saw your hand move. So you can see this one is moving out, and it's 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 filling up pretty quick. That's putting out a good amount of energy. If you were to have a bat box on here, bat boxes only hold forty thousand EUs. Yep. So I mean, you would you would actually fill it up pretty quickly if you did. So, and I'm gonna go ahead. Just, it's uh, I'd advise against using a bat box with a reactor at least use an MFE yeah definitely use an MFE the MFEs can hold 600,000 uh, 600, for an MFE and 10 million for uh, MFSU they are expensive to make but damn are they worth it so this gives you an idea though if you were to go through and use a bat box with this honestly you'd run it for about a minute and uh, it'd be full <laughs> I mean that, that's essentially what you're getting at right there so this is the simplest and easiest to use. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, Steve, if you don't mind. 
just because I it's kind of loud actually, in my. But, uh, you know, it's cool. Whatever. Well, it makes it to where they can't hear you, and I, I'm sure they'd rather was, hear you. I than was it. kidding. I you was, shut up over there! Care. I'll punch you in the face. Punch you in the face. Oh, oh, oh! I like it. I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. So uh, you can't get me behind this reinforced steel door. Bam! Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. Well, that's interesting. I, 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 I'm Super D. See, that's me. I, I can punch through reinforced glass, and I could leap tall buildings in a single bound. And amazing. Uh, sorry about that. All right. So the next step up. So that's that's the Mark One. That's a Mark One One, com completely safe. We actually. I said, well, let's try to get some more energy out of just one nuclear reactor. Now, you'll notice that this one right here and is surrounded you're by carried away air. With the water in hey, this one over here. zip it, zippy. This one is completely carried surrounded away. by air. Uh, air actually does dissipate heat. Is it at 0.1% per I think tick? It's at 0.25. 0.25% like per tick. Uh, if you surround a nuclear reactor on all sides with water. Not like this, only on the four sides that it actually has. <laughs> you know what? Shut up. I liked it that way. Actually, I think that it does go and extend out two spaces, though. So two blocks of water above it because Debatable. there's no way you can get 12 blocks of water on four sides. Exactly. So it's just for this reactor, four sides, or so I'd assume. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably not because I'm usually damn right. Probably, but, you know. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. So with this anyway. one right here, this is, uh, let's see, this is a Mark 1-0. And a Mark 1-0 puts out, this is going to put out 8 million EUs in its total cycle. This is another full cycle um, uh, generator. So this one will go through the nuclear reactor. This will go full cycle. You don't have to worry about it exploding. And this one has a 13-second cooldown time. So basically by the time you're like, oh, yeah, I forgot about my nuclear reactor. I got to go check on it. And it's done. Yeah, it's going to be ready for you to turn it on. Um, this one is a really good system. Let's see. 40 EUs per tick is the output. It's got 100% efficiency. There's no unused generation time. Once again, 2 hours, 46 minutes, and 40 seconds for the total run time. And you can run this as many times as you want to. It's 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 gorgeous thing. Uh, this is the output for it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on the screen so you can kind of see it. Now this one right here, we actually started using the integrated heat dispersers. And I'm going to explain to you now what those are. So with the integrated heat disperser, as I mentioned earlier, the uranium cell only does top, bottom, left, right for the coolant. Um, with an integrated heat disperser, you can actually say there's this coolant cell here. So this uranium cell, I'll do it on this side so you can, the thing doesn't get in the way. This uranium cell is dispensing heat to this coolant cell and to this coolant cell and to this coolant cell. That's great. Well, how do you dispense extra heat out? The he integrated heat dispenser goes through and sets between this coolant cell and this coolant cell. So it's actually pulling heat from these two, and this one actually, and expanding it up into this one. And so it, it works around that way. So it uh, basically goes through and has it to where you can put it in angled spots between a uranium cell, and it, it just works to go through and dispense the heat from these a bit nicer. Disperse. Uh, disperse. So that's why it's the in un integrated heat disperser. So as I mentioned, this one goes through, and it will put out 40 EUs per tick, so it will actually fill up this MS MFSU twice as Damn it to hell! Twice as fast. <laughs> I hate getting stuck in there. Steven, if you would like to go ahead and turn this on, I'm going to watch this right here. So double the power of the last one, and the reason is because it has twice as many uranium cells. Now, there is more efficiency with the uranium cells whenever they are um, stacked right next to each other. But it also produces a lot more heat, and it raises the threat of explosion. By, by a significant amount. And as you can see on here, we're already at 20,000 <clears> EUs, and it's only been, what, about 20, 30 seconds? Yeah. Um, also, basically, uranium cells, when placed, when placed by themselves, they generate 10 EU per tick. When placed next to another uranium cell, they generate 10 more per uranium cell they're next to. So if you have two next to each other, each one is producing 20 EUs per tick. Thus, 40 EUs per tick if you have two next to each other. So we could have made this a separate way of going through and just putting two uranium cells side by side and then having coolant all around it. And that probably would have put out the same amount of EUs per tick. I think we probably still could have got it to where it was a uh, really safe system that's not going to blow up, especially with the water surrounding it. I think we could have done that as well. Yeah. 
Actually, let me see. Yeah, your ideas are dumb. Yeah, yeah, you're dumb. <laughs> Let's see. One, two. You filled this room with water. One, two. <laughs> hey, don't question my authority. You're I want like, the water. water I'll here. take all of it. I wanted water. Um, and yes, uh, with we could. I just mocked one up in the in the little system, the planner, and actually still had three empty spaces up top and three empty spaces down low. Used four integrated heat dispersers and six coolant cells and two uranium cells, and it has 40 EUs per tick, 8 million EUs total lifetime, and full cycle, 14 second cooldown, which is pretty damn good. So you can actually use less to go through there. Um, which we could show that really quick, but... Do you still have the link for this one? Mm, no. This was your idea, in fact. Uh, I think I do. Well, I remember I had to, whenever I updated... <laughs> nah, it's cool. I'm just messing with you. I'm pulling your leg. You're pulling a leg. Wait, that's Yeah, I am. All right, hey, Steve, come and look at this one. This was that one that I was just talking about that I checked out in the planner. This one is going to have a 14-second cooldown time, but it's a full-cycle runner, and it can run infinite cycles. This still puts out 40 EUs per tick and 8 million. So this is the same exact cost as the other one, except with two less uranium and what? Four less coolant cells. How did you have it set up previously? My bad. I don't remember. Watch this video whenever well, it's done. Well, <laughs> you suck. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, previously, it was running with um, basically where these integrated. Oh yeah, you had them just were. in corners. Okay. Right. So yeah, apparently Derek doesn't quite know what he's doing with uh, <laughs> well, the. Well, I for I have, I have I have in I have, case you couldn't. I have doesn't. forgetfulness. Damn it. Uh, so yeah, this is just as efficient, actually more efficient than the other one, than the other one uh, because you're using less coolant cells. So this is a cheaper one to run, and you're still getting out 40 EUs per tick. And What is the cooldown time? 14 seconds after, but it's after full That's cycle. That's a whole eight extra seconds, though. That's a whole one extra second. The other one was 13 second cooldown time. Oh, well, it still sucks. You're terrible at math. <laughs> 13 minus 14 is negative 8. What? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Man Sorry about man. that, guys. Uh, <laughs> Steve's going to lose internet connection sometime soon, so we got to get these done. This one right here. Minutes. This one was my design? Yeah, this was your design. You're screwing around. You're like, this works. Do it. And I was like, oh, okay. Yes, master. Please don't beat me again. You like it when I beat you. But I lost That's, the... Uh, 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 debatable. It's It's gone, man. It's gone. Then build it again. Oh, yeah, I guess I could do that. All right, because I don't have the stats <laughs> on this one. You, sh you zip it, Zippy. One, two. It's surrounded by lots of water. Integrated heat disperser. Why don't you tell a nice chemistry joke while we're waiting for me to finish this? I'd tell a chemistry joke, but all the good ones are gone. <laughs> you can't use that when you've already used it. You set me up for it, though. It was just too perfect. And besides, there are going to be way more people watching this one than the one that I actually made that one in the first time. So. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't hear you through all that whining some kid was doing in the background. All right, this one. <laughs> this one is completely surrounded by water. Um, <laughs> except for the bottom right there. So it is actually completely surrounded by. 11 blocks of water. We're still taking into consideration that it's two blocks surrounded on each side. So it's right. going to go on two, yeah. on two, on two, on two. Because mm -hmm. that's the only way you're going to get 24 blocks of water surrounding it. Whatever. That's the only way. Whatever. I'm going to punch you in the face. Punch you. Punch you in the face. All right. So this one is 24 uh, blocks of water surrounding. And that's by having it to where it goes out two blocks above three blocks, actually, and below it dispenses the heat out completely on there. And if I am wrong on there, please just drop a comment below. But I've always taken it that uh, the way this works out, since we have two cylinders around it, basically there's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So that's nine. One, two, three. It still wouldn't work. So you're going to have to have, because that's 12. So that's 12 blocks. No, that is 11 blocks. So it's got to be one more out there that we can do. Anyway, so it's got to be two away. Um, this one right here, though, is actually an output of a total of 16 million EUs for the cycle. It's going to put it out at 80 EUs per tick. Uh, and this is the, the plan again. So you have the integrated heat dispersers. 
And if you look right there, 30204 is the block IDs for them as well. In case you're one of those cheating bastards like we did on this one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, cool nut cells. <laughs> it has. Uh, that was a funny joke. Shut up. <laughs> for eight. So you're totally screwing me up right now. Seven. Well, pay 14, attention to yourself. 14 coolant cells, um, 10 integrated heat dispensers, and it is running. Actually, that's 16 six. coolant cells. No, I lied. You're right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I will smack. Come here. Come here. Uh, six. Uh, uranium cells on this one. So the six uranium cells, but so you're saying, okay, that's where it comes through. These things, these two uranium cells right here are putting out 10 EU per tick each, and these ones right here, since they're next to each other, are putting out 20 each. So that's how we're getting the 80 EUs per tick. Uh, hey, kid, system. what you doing? Humping this reactor. Steve, stop humping the reactor. Um, let's see. This one is a full cycle time, so it can actually run through a full cycle. With having the water completely surrounding this one, it is uh, got a 23 second cooldown. So two hours, 46 minutes, 40 seconds is going to give you 16 million EU. I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch since Steven is not over here. And it's going. Look at that. Ah, oh, power gaining. Oh God, the irradiation. At this, oh. at this, at this rate, ah. we will reach 1.21 gigawatts in no time, Steve. All right, now I'm done. Sorry. Are you okay? Ah! Ah! Okay, now I'm seriously done. I'm surprised your roommate doesn't smack you. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. My roommate got kicked out. Really? What for? Oh. Uh, VPNs. VPNs? <laughs> <laughs> yep, you had a VPN. They so found he, out. He got kicked out they of school? They kicked him out. Yep. Wow. Because our school is made up of imbeciles. Understandable. Oh. Oh. I did want to mention this one thing. If we did have this to where it was going through a bat box, it would have been filled already. Um, and then you would have felt like a dork because you'd been running a nu nuclear reactor that would have been charging nothing. So really good design here, guys. This one is... Uh, one nuclear reactor in the center, the nuclear reactor chambers, two of them on the sides, uh, one on each side, and then just fill this bastard with water. This is your design in the center, and that one, like I said, is going to get you 16 million EU total output. That's going to take two hours, 46 minutes, and 40 seconds to run. No unused generation time, which means it's all the time it's going to be running. There's no downtime for it. Um, good stuff. That's Don't a really good up. one. Don't come back here. <laughs> okay. Tell me when you're ready for me. I'm ready for you. Steve, I'm following you. All right. This here is uh, one of my designs. I just uh, came up with it about a couple minutes ago, maybe. Uh, 30 minutes ago. Yeah, cool. Whatever. Anyway, it's probably already been done, probably already been found out and whatnot, but I found it. Hey, and Steve. I thought I'd share it. Hey, what? Steve. Steve. What? Steve, hey. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, Steve, are you busy? Hey, 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 De hey Derek. Yes. Why can't I punch you? Okay. <laughs> you... Alright. So, can... May I continue, sir? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Totally. Oh, thank you, master. Hey, All Steve. Right. Steve. There's a, there's a switch there, Steve. It's a pressure plate. Way to go, Steve. Damn Way it. to go, Steve. <laughs> These people watching are probably like, Just shut up and get on with the demonstration. Actually, I don't think we're going to share this one, this video. This one will be like the next video, the next part of the series. How about that? Ooh, what? Can that be done? Can we do that? Be no, all suspenseful. I'm sure, I'm sure people will be like, oh, I want to exactly. see what it does. Suspenseful and what the fuck. Yeah, but then by the time you get back on to where you can do stuff, which is probably tomorrow. <laughs> I have jury duty tomorrow. I got to go to jury duty at like 8 o'clock in the morning. I, I, don't, even, I yeah. don't even like jurors. That sounds really attractive, actually. Jury duty? Um, I was completely sarcastic in my statement. Hey, what are you doing? Ah! What are you doing? I'm building another room over here to explain some stuff later. In the next video. Oh, and are you going to explain this 
monstrosity oh, you, over here? I mean, do you want me to, or do you want to keep interrupting me? Because, we, I mean, you can play <laughs> that game. I'm sorry. It was that actually, like, were you... Did, did you want me to? Because I, I couldn't tell. No, I totally want you to. <laughs> All right. Back to this reactor. <laughs> may, may I continue? What the, what the hell? You, you knocked broke me down. The door. <laughs> I did. You broke the pressure Can you let pad. me in? No. Let me, let me in. I will take this door out. All right. I just realized my door is open, like my screen door is open. <laughs> so uh, my neighbors are probably just like, what the hell is he doing? He's yelling Anybody at somebody. Anybody who uh, wants to go see Dream, is, his door is wide open, apparently. Mm -hmm. I like to play Minecraft in the nude. So go ahead and explain I'm this. <laughs> You're okay. Yourself. And by that, I mean off of Minecraft. All right, no. Now <laughs> I, uh, I continue with my explanation. Do you, I want, me to, do you want me to anyway. be looking at this while they... Uh... Like looking. Uh, into you them. can. That, okay. That'd probably be a good idea, actually, if you if you want to survive. Um, all right. Let me pull up the stats really quick. There they are. Like stats. Stats are nice. Okay. Damn it. There go my stats. All right. Now I've got my stats and my Minecraft. Sorry. Okay. So basically, this is a uh, a uh, full cycle uh, nuclear reactor. Goes through once. Is this a Mark II or Mark III? Uh, this is a Mark II-1. Pretty sure that just means fully stable. Anyway, it takes 2 hours and 46 minutes and 40 seconds, in case you were curious about the seconds. I don't really know why they put that on there. But, um, puts out 32 million EU per uh, cycle. And since it goes through a full cycle without any problems, it puts out 32 million EU every time you turn it on and leave it running. Well, okay, I take that back, because if you turn it on and put new stuff in it and turn it on again, you're kind of screwed. You brought that upon yourself. Um, puts can out you 160 link me to this one so I can see it on my side? tick. What now? Can you link me to this one so I can put, see it on my side as well? I mean, I could, but I just took a picture of the screen and then closed it because it was making my Java run slow. Mm. Okay, no problem. Sorry. Um, let's see. Does... Each of these two cells next to each other does 40, so, yeah, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Uh, yeah, yeah 20, 40... Okay. I had to think about that for a second. I was like, that's not right, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. And Dream already explained the, uh, the basic concept of these things dispersing their heat. Right, the integrated heat dispersers uh, reacting with coolant cells. So this one is going to go right. through, and it, since it does run through a full cycle, uh, you will need to replace everything. I do remember that from the picture. You will, after this However, cycle has completed... Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, after this cycle is completed, uh, all of these will be pretty much all the way down, except they won't be completely destroyed. Like, if one of them was completely destroyed, then it wouldn't be full cycle, because basically that's a fire hazard. It's going to explode. These all yeah. will be very low, but it can run through that full cycle. So you'll need to replace everything in here. But that puts out quite a bit of power. How much power was it altogether? 32 million? 32 million EUs. So in two hours and 46 minutes, if you were standing there while it was running, you'd fill up three MFSUs completely. And a little bit extra. Um, however, the cooldown time, this is the only downside of it, is 126, excuse me, 124 minutes. Um, about two hours, five minutes. So... I mean, by the time that you're done using all three MSFUs you just filled up, you will probably have definitely enough time. Has that's gone. that. Yeah, However, that's quite a bit. I have um, English. Yeah, you I have, have English problem. Before you English go through problem. and finish up Dude. using up all them dumb there uh, MFSUs, shut up and filled up. Shoot, hey man, I tell you, you're gonna go through. You're gonna need to fill up again. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I, I, don't. I don't speak. Retarded. There's a EU reader behind you. Ooh, is About there? About to turn this bad boy on. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. And... See, right now, no EUs per tick, but if I go through, it's coming out 146.85 EUs per tick. 160 EUs per tick. Yeah, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking fish grease. Yeah. And yeah, that just filled up a bat box. Yes, it did. And the bat box and a half. That took about maybe... 10 seconds. I said fish grease like three times and it was done. Two bat boxes full right there. So this one, and since this one does run full cycle, this is actually a really great one, guys. Uh, it does have a bit of a cooldown time on it. 
Not terrible though, and when you consider the fact that with the cooldown time that's on there, you filled up three damn MFSUs. Three of these bad boys right here, which it's well worth it. I say that's, this yeah, is probably the most efficient. Quite one. a bit to make. Oh yeah, um, they do. Quick thing though, um, if it's not surrounded by water on all sides, which means that you actually have to get these parts right under here, uh, right there, and right there. And well, this has got the wire on it, so you can't get right there. However, right. get those all covered by water, or it will explode. So, hmm. imminent death. Strong yes. words from a strong man. So yeah, there's that. Good job, buddy. That's a really good design. Thank you. Now, Steve and I are going to go and we're going to keep working on these because, um, Stephen, you downloaded the little applet, right? You don't need to have the internet connection to op operate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Stephen and I are going to work on these and we're, we're going to work our asses off to try to go through and make a Mark III and a Mark IV. I don't think we're going to be able to get a Mark IV that can run full cycle, but I think if we can go through and have it to where a cycle can run for, say, 50 minutes without having to go through and, and worry about exploding, I say that's pretty good, especially if we can go through. I had one that I was trying to work with earlier that I can get 42 million EUs in 53 minutes. Um, and it was great because with that 53 minute cycle, basically it, it didn't run full cycle, but it would cool down for like an hour and a half. But you got 42 million EU out of it. So, And we're going to go through and start showing you how to work with these to where they have... Um, uh, red circuit. Uh, they're using red power, like the the logic things, the logic gates in there. So you have a timer on the system to where it can turn on for a certain amount of time and turn off for a certain amount of time to where you can't turn it back on while it's be, it has to be turned off. So we're going to get that taken care of as well. Uh, this one is not a short video, but it's I think it's a pretty good explanation. We wanted to do these videos because we were actually looking around for a while and we couldn't find anything that really explained exactly everything out how to use it. One thing that we did find which is an amazing resource, and thank you so much, Neoboy, for uh, letting us know about this, is the link that I am popping up right center screen. I'm going to have a nice, nice, nice shot right here. There we go. Look at that. Look at this link right here. This is a gorgeous link. Steve, do you see this? This is amazing. I would if I ever watched your videos, which I don't. Oh. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Uh, so go to this link, guys. I'm going to actually put it down in the description because you can't click on it here on the video. Um, this link is where we actually found the reactor planners. And so you can actually go through without testing it in your own world with your own little houses and everything like that that blow up so nicely and set on fire. You can test it here without blowing shit up. Uh, so, yeah, definitely follow the link. Uh, Except for your Java. Your Java pretty much blows up. Yeah, it does. It does require some Java. So, yeah, Talon, <laughs> Talon Fire Mage. Uh, it does require some Java, you know, just just a little bit though, not a whole lot. For me, it doesn't require a whole lot. I'm running five windows right now. Uh, I just I just love the uh, the way you said it. The it does require some Java. Some, not all the Java. Just some it's of not it, active. You know? <laughs> it's not going through and generating you know animated files. But I do see what you mean. I should have been more referring to the RAM requirements. Um, so the, yeah, this is Industrial Craft Reactor Planner version 2.01. It is through talonfiremage.pwp.blueyonder.co.uk slash reactor planner. That's way too long of a name. I'm just going to put it down in the description below, and you can click on that shit. How about that? Sounds about gay. <laughs> um, so yeah. Let us know what you thought of the All video, right. or if you have designs. That's one thing I would like to see. If you guys come up with some designs... Um, that was almost a tenth of a bat box, by the way. A tenth of a what? Not bat box. Wow. Um, MFSU. MFSU. Okay. Stay out of my room. If you guys come up with some cool designs and everything like that through the reactor planner, send them to me uh, through message because you can't put comments with the links down in the – like with, with web links down there in the bottom. But send me a message. Um, or even better, make a uh, response video. Showing the, the, the reactor video or the reactor planner setup that you did and let us know the output and everything like that. If you can try to get something to where it has unused generation time down to 0%, if you can get something that's like a Mark II or Mark, uh, definitely a Mark III with a full cycle, let us know. That's badass stuff right there, and I will congratulate you, sir or ma'am. Until next time, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Yeah, it's a new kind of um, 
animal in Minecraft, uh, the scribe. Mm, totally. It's totally. actually a subspecies of a, which, which is why you call it a subscribe. Yeah, it's it's a subscribe. It's it's uh, it's it's based off the creeper. Shut up. Anyways, subscribe, like the video, <laughs> and uh, tell Steve to put your comment in right here. <laughs> what? Tell Steve to, and then they put in what you should, you know, whatever it is. Oh, that's gonna be really bad. It's gonna end really badly. <laughs> For I can you. see it already. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I'm Dreamover23. And I'm scared shitless. <laughs> it happens. Uh, I think they have Pepto. Uh, Pepto, you can probably get. Yeah, that works, right? Possibly. I mean, maybe. Okay. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. And uh, yeah. Let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not holding. Oh, no, hold on. They hold have on. to go. It's too late for them. Hold on. Uh, 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 oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Help. <laughs> what did you do? I just I just smited Brandon. <laughs> Where was he? I don't know. But he got smitten. I still don't think smitten is the right word. Smited. Like Smited doors. doesn't Damn. sound. It doesn't sound right. All right, all right. We gotta go. Bye, guys. Talk to you later. Say bye, Steve. Where's your manners? Oh, um, bye, Steve. <laughs> you're a dork. Bye, guys. You know the buildcraft makes me smile. An industrial craft because my nuclear reactor gets the power to inspire these blocks. Feel like Doc Brown gonna make a time machine in game 1.21. We got the spawners that start dropping spiders and creepers and zombies as well with their arms in the air and blazes. Cave spiders, skeletons, shockies, the slimes, and magma cubes, silverfish. Yeah, the pigmen are nice and. Unless you attack them, then they're coming at you like a swarm of bees. You're running like crazy just to get away from them. Get through the portal and finally can breathe. <sighs> All this for some glowstone dust. Now that I'm back, I see it's not.